Seacoast certainly saw a significant impact from the storm. Route 1A affected in areas from here in Hampton straight up through Rye. Strong onshore winds and a high tide that reached the seawall at Hampton Beach forced water, rocks, and debris into the streets, shutting down Route 1A in town. The wind gusts also caused issues on inland roads. There are a lot of wires down, there's trees down uh, in the roadways. The tide also rose around low-lying areas, flooding property and roadways. Snow plows were used to remove debris once the waters receded, but still plenty of damage to deal with. We're seeing a lot of uh, roadways that are uh, pulled up. The, the pavement is, is broken up. Uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, houses that have suffered some significant water damage. A short trip up Ocean Boulevard found another road closure at the Rye Northampton line. Crews worked all afternoon to repair infrastructure damage caused by the ocean surge. What we had today was a uh, winter storm which was predicted that the wind was coming in off the water and while the high tide came in it did do some significant uh, erosion to the roadway as well as the seawall so there was a lot of rocks and water that came across the road. A small portion of Harbor Road in Rye was also damaged. A section of narrow residential roadway collapsed, keeping crews busy. And this is the paved parking lot at Jenis Beach, covered with a few inches of sand and plenty of seaweed, an example of what was left behind by the storm. And sand still covers the sidewalk here at Hampton Beach and much of Ocean Boulevard, so uh, the cleanup, no doubt, will continue for days. Live in Hampton, Jason King, WMUR News.